It's Mr. Skipper, <laughs> Chris Digamidis. Now, um, uh, last week, no, not last week, but the week before, you accused me of having never done a proper interview with you. Um, an accusation I take quite seriously. So here we are, and, um, you know, uh, are, you, are you relieved about this? It's been playing on my nose season. That's it? Season, so yeah, is I that why your form has been dipped? Yeah, probably is the reason why my form Is that why you've lost so many matches? Yeah, that probably is the reason, yeah. <laughs> Now I, I thought you know better get it out of the way you know get, move on from this and onwards and upwards so exactly, to speak, yeah. and with you that pretty much is in only upwards really isn't it? So um start at the beginning. Well, Chris Dickamidis, Pontypridd captain number eight, sometime lock. Tell us about how you got started in this great game we call rugby. Um, I well, started off at about four years old I think. My parents took me down to uh, Pencoid. Mini and junior rugby club. So how, six foot what were you then? Uh, six foot one maybe. <laughs> six foot yeah. Um, a bit of a destructive child on the house, so the only way I could be some edgy I thought was to take me down here. So I went down here, played four seasons under eight, and I played Pen Coy then all the way through to under thirteens. And between our stints with the gen schools and all representative stuff. And the thirteens then not many people know this. I went and played for Cardiff. <laughs> yeah, I went uh, to Cardiff. Well, just one one team man, at that time. Cardiff under 13s. I had two seasons there. And then, Shall I bleep this out? Well, you can't bleep it out. Yeah, so uh, two seasons there, and they sort of disbanded, and we all went on block and to um, Old Panathians. Oh yeah. Stayed there until I was 17. And then basically just playing for the school and just playing for Open Athens. And then as soon as I finished school then, <coughs> I was in the Warriors Academy and Progenda Academy and everything. As soon as I finished school then, um, Kingy came on to me, because obviously he was my teacher for seven years Oh yeah, school. yeah, yeah. I had to make a choice then between uh, Ponty and Progen, who I wanted to go and play for. And in the Warriors Academy, like, I'd come through with Flan and Mockers. I was closer to them boys than I was uh, the gem boys, mm. so the decision was quite easy really, plus obviously I knew about the fan base and everything up here, so I chose to come up here and be here ever since. Do you think it's grown since you joined? What, what were you, 2005 when you joined? 2004-05 season, yeah. Yeah. So obviously I went out then on um, permit or dual registration to UIC. Oh yeah. Season there then. Yeah. But I was coming back and forth. Do you think there's more people here since? Yeah, definitely. Especially this season. Well. Yeah, what do you think it is? I asked Johnsy this. Um, it's hard to put your finger on it, really. I don't really know. Couldn't really tell you. Is it that, you know, the form is so good that people just come out and people like to follow a winning team? Yeah, or, or possibly. What do you think? Word of mouth and the style of rugby that we're trying to play and the style of rugby I've been playing. Maybe they think it's reverting back to the old days here when you were a successful team and everything, so maybe that's the reason yeah. they're all coming back out now to watch us. Yeah, play. success breeds uh, breeds confidence, which breeds success, and it's, uh, it's a lovely day for rugby today, Dicko. No, no, I know, I can't wait to get up there. It's um, It's been a bit of a season, hasn't it? Yeah, it's First season as captain, <laughs> you've got to be as chuffed as uh, chips. It's unbelievable. If everyone asks me, and everything, but it's just words can't describe how it's gone really you couldn't have gone any better apart from obviously the lost on the Kamal and Quinns so. well yeah but th th the fact is you're going to be losing bonus out of that exactly so. and they didn't even get a bonus no I'm a win bonus but obviously the win against Neath last week or the week before sort of wiped that yeah clean so. that must be very very pleasing that oh. to beat them twice in one season I'm really in front of the cameras as well exactly yeah, I think and I and I don't know who in the squad speaks Welsh but I, well I do actually Adam and Jake and yeah, of course, yeah, of course. But um, yeah, they uh, and Johnsy, of course. Yeah. Um, and uh, but I do know that I mean, had you had subtitles on, they were going apoplectic of a mm. It was great. It was great to listen to. Well, oh, I couldn't make up this Christian DC, Christian DC. So. Yeah, they were obsessed with Christian DC. Ah, but they um, they were really enthused about Waters. They were enthused about all the boys yeah. actually and Hembers. Um, but it was tremendous. Nothing about you, but it was it was you know. <laughs> It was really, really solid game, and then of course we came back against Pontypool and 
That's been especially pleasing to get that uh, that yeah, bonus down there. Because it's a tough old ground. Tough place to go. They threw everything at us the first half and defence with L, and then we scored Gunter scored then and then mm. talk then in the change room. We knew we could go up another three, four gears, put the game to bed, we'll come out again the and scored three tries and get the bonus back. So. Now you're uh, I mean, you've been here a long time, but what are you, twenty five? Yeah. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, it must be very pleasing to watch some of the youngsters coming through, though. I mean, I know you've only got six, seven years on some of them, but it's some cracking prospects, oh, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it is strange. I think these boys, eighteen, eight years old, yeah. thinking, Christ, seven years. Well, that was me. But yeah, you know, great appetite for rugby. They're training, mm. the eating habits, everything completely different to when to what I it, was. What it was. Yeah, 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 like, uh, yeah. You know, six been absolutely outstanding this season playing well for Welsh 20s Corey as well yeah. Callum uh, Lewis Jones cracking cracking scrum half right pain in the butt but you know I think we need as a scrum half and he's been absolutely superb for us that's what John said actually you need someone with a bit of dog about them don't you yeah. uh, mind you uh, there's there's a lot to be said for the way Bala and uh, and Lucas I thought Lucas is Lucas, his little yeah, sprint last games, week Good lord. And Chuck Downsy in the mix here as well. Well, yeah, quite. Yeah, we don't see as much of Downsy these days, yeah. though, unfortunately. But um, And of course, three cup competitions the Playoff Cup, the British and Irish Cup, and the Suela Cup. Mm. Are you. Now, I know Langers and, and Johnsy and Chief, they're not targeting any one of them, but is there anything in your mind where you're thinking, oh, I love that? Uh, I'm not really targeting any of them, but I think if somebody asked me what competition I'd like to win more than anything, it'd definitely be the mm-hmm. league, I think. I thought you were going to yeah, say the BIC. Oh, the league. Ah, oh, that's funny. <clears throat> the BIC. It's one off games. The league is the whole season. League is the best of the best, really, isn't it? Consistency of the whole season. Yeah, With yeah. the British and Irish Cup, you've got one or two lucky games and you can go on to win the Cup. Or you can play well and win one or two games. But with the league, you've got to be consistent. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure with this playoff structure, though, because, I mean, Tlenetli, you know, if it was us top, Neath, Clearly second, say Clearly beat Neath, and then by some fluke, they managed to beat us. It's still, they don't make them out to be the best team. I mean, I don't like these playoffs. I think whoever no. finishes top should, should be the winner. Win the league, yeah, but yeah, obviously, yeah. I think it's just to keep teams at the top although, and the bottom. Although, that said, if Neath were top at the end of the season, we beat them in the playoff, you wouldn't be grudging, would you? Well, not, not <laughs> it's, um, it's a bit of a special time for. Uh, for Chris Digmeet at the moment, isn't there? You're getting married this year, yeah, you're... Uh, I know in June, so it's been a busy, uh, well, I've got a busy couple of months coming up. Adopted a dog? It's <laughs> all happening, dog, bet. Yeah. Legend she is as well. What's her name? Tegan. Tegan the dog? Tegan the dog. Good Lord. It's uh, it's, uh, it's another world for you, isn't it? Yeah, so it's what's, um, so you're the youth development officer of Bridge and... No, I Am I wrong? a company called um, Superstars. Which is a... Uh, it's a private company. I go around schools um, ah, coaching right. children, all different types of sports football, rugby, netball, hockey. Any good at netball? Me personally? Yeah. Not a bad shoot there, but I'm too lazy for anything else. It's <laughs> sort of stand at the end. But yeah, I go to different schools, you know, deprived areas, uh, affluent areas, a mix of children. You see a lot of talented kids coming through as well. It's brilliant. It's really, really good. Join yourself then. Yeah, it's good. Um, the. You know we've got we've got the Bic and we've got the Swalek and we've got, but, but are they are there any aspirations that, you know, because you've played for the Blues, um, and I mean I don't want to dwell on dwell on other clubs because it's, it's nothing to do upon you as far as I'm concerned, um, but is there any is there anything do, do you see yourself progressing to to a different sort of club or are you uh, I don't want to draw you too much on this to be honest. I'd never ever sign for another team in the Welsh Premiership, never ever. Obviously. If a regional team come in for you, or then you've something you've got to consider, especially now with <coughs> mortgage and of course you everything do. else. Yeah. But, you know, I had a taste there with the Blues, and to be honest with you, I absolutely loved it a bit. But I just didn't get enough game time, and to think my face quite fits down here. So you know, I'm happy here. And if Langley said to me, "Dicko, do you want a five-year contract?" I'd quite happily sign a five-year contract up here. I think it's telling that some of the boys are, you know, um, I know Garen Lucas is desperate to sign another year, I don't know yeah. if you already has, and uh, I know that um, I know Humber's signed a year at the start and then bit lang his <laughs> arm off to try and get another year on him, but um, th- this this two-year contract thing, that's pretty shrewd actually, isn't it? Yeah, I think um, 
the end of last season, she phoned uh, a few of the boys up, including myself, and said, look, we want to get a core of a squad there. How do you feel about signing in two-year deals? And for me, it was stability. I just got a mortgage and everything. So it was a no-brainer for me. I, like I said, I'd sign a three, four, five-year contract. So, but yeah, it is good. And obviously, and if boys do move on, you know, like if they're lucky enough to go to regional, the regional teams then got to pay a uh, transfer fee to cover their contract. So, you know. Which is a win-win situation exactly, for team, really, isn't it? Lose, really, and obviously, don't want the, well, say we don't want the boys to go on to higher things, but if they're good enough, then obviously we do want well, to go it, on. Well, it's, it's progression, isn't yeah. it? And, and you can't begrudge anyone no, for progressing. No, but um, what well, the only thing, only thing I don't like is when, is when regions snap people up on the basis of you coming to play for us and then farm them out to lower, lower teams within their, within their, you yeah, know, catchment area. I don't like that. Can imagine going aside for region and then coming back and playing for Tom play Yeah, it'd be horrible, wouldn't it? Well, I, I think I'd fake an injury to be honest with you. <laughs> Full of sicky. No, You're never going to play for the uh, for the level above after that. The it's I I gotta look. I, I do admire this ground. Do you ever look around and think, God, I'm lucky? Because it's it's a fabulous looking ground at the moment. It, there's advertising everywhere. The pitch, admittedly, with really wet weather, but the pitch is still looking pretty damn good. It's um, as a lovely sunny day as well. We're uh, we're pretty blessed yeah, at Sardis, aren't we? We're lucky. It's not just the boys who are. Uh, Doing well on the pitches, everyone off the pitches. I know uh, Kath House does a lot of work behind the scenes and all the other management team, and then all the way down, it filters down to kit men, die bricks, dickhead, yeah. old Stewie. You know, everyone's just happy, it's a positive environment at the moment, it's just, it's just ticking over nicely. You're a happy man, aren't you, Yeah, really happy at the moment, you know. Hopefully, get a win today, be even happier. Just take it from there. So, the family. Um is it? Are you? A, is it a rugby family? Because your dad's a your dad's a, a, yeah. a big bloke, isn't he? I mean, my dad, uh, no, not rugby oriented. No, he was a footballer. My dad was actually. He tells me stories. He played for Cardiff City Juniors in goals. But I don't know how true that is. Uh, my mum's side, her two brothers were both rugby players. All right, they four both played for Cardiff. Oh my god! All my family's Cardiff. Yeah, what's Cardiff that about? Well, my mum's from um, Land of North. And my old man's from Greenstone, <laughs> so. <laughs> but yeah, two brothers. They were like played Cardiff youth and Cardiff and everything. So that's where my rugby comes from, really. And obviously, a lot of my cousins play. But when Penk I was growing up, there was no football. Really. No, it was no, it was all rugby those rugby, days, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Strong rugby area as oh, well. Yeah, it's brilliant though. Well, up until in the thirteens, it was yeah. brilliant on it. Like they don't it. it. Was Henson around? Henson then? Henson was. He's about three or four years older than me. I can remember him watching him play a few times when I was younger. And I remember then going down to watch um, a Sevens tournament, the Youth Sevens tournament, and he was oh, playing. Yeah. Uh, and he just carved it up. He was, got him down here, got Cooper, Gareth Cooper, Gareth Thomas, yeah. Scott Gibbs. You know, and his, I think he's a good uh, section, mini section. Good core of yeah. uh, Bridgen based players. It's such a shame, too. It's such a shame that the Warriors went the way it did, because my God, what a region we'd have. Yeah, it was brilliant, you know, I was involved in the academy down there. And it was did you go to South Africa? I didn't go to South Africa, school were going out there at exactly the same time. Oh, so I went out there with the school. Oh well, at least you still went out. Yeah, so it was out there at the same time, so I bumped into them a couple of times. Mm. But, you know, I'd been out there twice for the school in South Africa, it's a oh, brilliant place, I'd love to go back again. I'd be mad if we went back, you know, with uh, the squad we got here. Amazing, was, wasn't it? Uh, brilliant out there. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Um, is it is it weird being a uh, club captain when you've got guys who are older than you in the same squad, like Wyatt and O'Connor? Is it because I mean it was no surprise to a lot of supporters that you were elected club captain this year. I mean, but is it? Do you find it weird? Do you find um, it unusual leading the team talks? It is a bit, but then you know when Gagsy speaks, everyone listens. When Wayne speaks, everyone listens. They're quite quiet. Yeah. Men, but when they speak, everybody listens. So yeah. it doesn't matter what I'm saying or what Lockers is saying, but when them two speak or when the older people speak, again, everyone listens because, you know, it's a bit of a mix of ages. Majority of the boys like around my age, you've got yeah. a few younger, and then the older heads then, a bit calmer than all this. How do you gear yourself up for, um, 
for a team talk. It, it, what do you? How do you? Do you know what you're going to say in advance? Sometimes, kind of, the car is going through my head what I'm going to say and everything. But as soon as you get another letter, and everything just goes out your head. Half the time, I just say the same stuff every week, and you know, don't really have to say much. The boys know what they got to do, and they know standards of rugby we got to play. So I don't even have to say a lot to be honest. With you. It's, it's amazing. I, 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 I don't know what to ask you, to be honest. It's amazing. Um, we've had some fantastic news this week, of course, that um, we've a certain American is coming over for uh, for British and Irish Cup uh, semi final. Any uh, any message for uh, for the young uh, for the young Bert James from uh, the Ponty Dragon? <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of a legend on uh, old Terrace Talk on Facebook. Yeah, it'd be good. Uh, it's good to meet him, wouldn't it? Um, it would be weird to meet him. Uh, I think Bala would be happy to meet him. <laughs> I think he's a baller's long lost father or something. With the M2 talk on Facebook. <laughs> nah, he's okay. Um, yeah, it'd be good for him to come over. It's, you know, an honour to have fans up in America and all over the world. It's just. It is bizarre. Though, it's know? brilliant and, and utterly bizarre that, that, that this guy from Scranton, Pennsylvania is grandmother was from the Ronda and he's selected Fonty as his team and as and and you know fantastic that he's been following the team for this yeah. line you, you just think god it's a weird honor isn't it it's mm. uh, it's a lovely thing it's a lovely i can't wait to meet the guy he's uh, he sent me some very nice messages and uh, yeah I, i'm looking forward to that i'm sure the whole entire squad are really yeah you know, i don't know how many of the boys read Terry's talk or whatever but you know i think you find most of them do uh, actually most of them have a Sneaky peek to see if uh, see if anyone's been mentioned. Yeah, I notice that some of the boys who come off the bench sometimes get better poll results on the uh, on the match. You know, the man of the match poll. If I stick on the website after every game, some of the boys who like had like ten minutes. I mean, Callum Thomas seemed to have a lot yeah, well, of you know. In well, like this is it. Me. Yeah, this is it. I always I have to laugh at that because I think. I mean, hang on, hang on. I have to stick them all on because it's only fair. Yeah, yeah. You know, you could come on, you could score twelve tries immediately. Yeah. I'd love to see that, but. Uh, yeah, are you, any any match this season or any season really been the most pleasing for for Dicko? What's uh, what stands out? Obviously the cup final against Neath when we won. Oh God, yeah. You yeah. know, I was lucky to be involved in that game. I think Chief had a bad injury, so I come on in the semi and then. Wasn't Chief was, overseas? No, he had a maybe he had his ribs or something. Oh, of course, it was it was the year before he was overseas, wasn't it? The year before. Um, yeah, he was overseas. Yeah. I was going to be involved. I broke my ankle. Oh God! So that's when uh, Danny Hodge is it? Danny Hodge. That's he was right. On the yeah, bench, yeah. 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 So the, the Cornishman. Game, yeah. The yeah. Neath game cup final stands out. Um, this season, then obviously, like Doncaster away. Really. Oh, it was so, something else, wasn't it? Yeah, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Your face. I took a little video as as the old guys were walking in, and um, you you were walking with Savage, I think it was, and yeah. your face was an absolute just, picture. I've seen that video actually. I just like look shell shocked. Complete idiot. Yeah, I just <laughs> it was really unexpected. I didn't know what to do here to look. Here's my neck standing up. I'm in bright red, embarrassed. It's just. Soak it up, oh, Diggo. Hey, hey, listen now. I, I'm thirty. I'll be thirty-three in a few days, and and it and it's rare that you hear things like this. Soak it up, make mm. the most of it. But I, I don't want to give you too much advice. You're the rugby player, not me. <laughs> but uh, but I, I just think that th- these times are like nothing else. It's uh, it's worth reveling in it because uh, my God, this doesn't happen often. And uh, and if we uh, if we do something a bit spectacular this year, I can guarantee there'll be a lot more of that. And it'll sound a lot better over there in the clubhouse. Oh, well, when we come back after winning the cup, it was unbelievable. Like Crazy, isn't it? People on the pitch and the car park area, just unbelievable. And when we lost, and easy two yeah. years after, it's still unbelievable. So, you know, I think to be a captain of a, be something else, a winning isn't it? team would be. A bit emotional as well, I imagine. Probably would be, yeah. yeah. Think, uh, wedding day or cup? Wedding day or <laughs> cup? <laughs> I'd have to say the radio, she'll kill me. <laughs> you do have to say that, yeah. Yeah, she'll kill me for asking yeah. as well. But, uh, yeah, you know, playoffs, I won't really worry him when these playoffs are, because my stag's at the end of me, so I'm hoping the season will be over by then, otherwise... <laughs> hey, you may have to abandon the stag now. Your stag may well be the game. Dicko, it's been fantastic speaking with you. Um, it have gone for all day, man, it's great, yeah. man. Um, we, we'll have a chat, I mean you're the captain, we've got to have a few more of these, but uh, we'll have a few chats and uh, obviously you, when you, once you watch this back you'll realise I haven't asked something, so God knows I'll be in for a slap <laughs> by the end of the day, but uh, 
Diolch Mawr iawn. Pob lwc e ddiw. Diolch. That's it, that's what I was waiting for. Diolch Mawr iawn. Um, and go up then put a W on him and get some bonus points. Uh, you know, we'd get a W first and then... And then worry about that afterwards. Comes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's do this and uh, let's do this season as well. And uh, you've made us very proud so far. Okay. Excellent captain. Cheers, <laughs> Make us proud for the rest of the season. And you'll be captain next year if you want. <laughs> Cheers, Dicko. Nice one.